So what did we just see? Well, we saw students listen to sounds and then repeat those sounds as a rhyme, sometimes. It's pretty interesting though that one of the students chose to rhyme, uh, make the rhyme of boy and choice. And the sound of ball seems to confuse all our students. The students suggest that ball rhymes with horn, show and low. The confusion is with the constant mispronunciation of the sound all. As we heard in class, Aeon Mall is spoken as Aeon Mon. All shopping mall. Aeon Mall. Mon, 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 Mon. Mon. Not Mon, yeah, to get Mon. Come on. It's a difficult sound to, um, to say. Uh, it's going to require a lot of work to uh, correct. But this does show um, that the students are learning the wrong sounds and they're also hearing the wrong sounds and maybe don't even hear the correct sounds. So it's, uh, it's an activity worth doing and, and just to see what's happening. So some advantages then. Advantage number one, it's easy to prepare. Second advantage, you can target very specific sounds. So if you want to target specifically the all sound, the uh sound, you can do. And thirdly, it's competitive. Our students get to compete against each other and they really enjoy. Some disadvantages, again, there's a lack of context. It's okay to practice the words individually, but put them back in a sentence. What did you do at the weekend? At the weekend I went to Aeon Mun, for example. Number two, therefore it does need some follow-up work. But overall it's a fun and interesting activity and again highlights the sound that our students believe they're hearing but are often not. If you like this activity then there are some more activities to find and if you like those activities please hit the subscribe button below. Have fun, enjoy, and happy teaching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.